Hey everyone, welcome back to part 12 of my Create Mod series. Now today we're going to go over on how to make an unlimited power source using flywheels and furnace engines. If you enjoy this video, definitely feel free to subscribe and like this video. I upload a ton of Create Mod content and there's definitely going to be many videos in the future and you don't want to miss those. That being said, there are a couple of requirements for this video. One, this is definitely not an early game design. If you are brand new into the Create Mod, I recommend looking at my other series. I have a bunch of power source videos and stuff like that. Uh, I recommend doing those before you can do this because you are going to need mechanical crafting. You are going to need a pretty good amount of brass and stuff like this. This is a very late game type of design, so just keep that in mind. Uh, also over here, this is a tree farm over here. This doesn't take much or too many resources. Uh, this is going to be a requirement. That video, I've designed the exact same uh, machine. It's like a six minute video. So definitely build that or some other tree farm before you end up building this unlimited power source. So just keep that in mind. Uh, other than that, this is everything you are going to need for this video. Now, there are a couple things in here that are pre-crafted, like flywheels, furnace engines, brass funnels. These are all things that I have crafted in past videos. The only thing I haven't is, these, is this brass tunnel. But just as a reminder, the furnace engine is mechanically crafted with five brass sheets, a brass casing, two brass ingots, and a piston. So keep that in mind. It's not a regular crafting table. Same as the flywheel is eight brass ingots and a brass casing to make a flywheel. Uh, and then the filter I've thrown in here, just as a reminder, it's two iron nuggets and a piece of wool to make one, and we need two of those. And the brass uh, tunnels, we're going to go ahead and craft really quick, so let's grab all these items. Uh, the brass tunnel, we're going to end up crafting four, but we only need three. Uh, to make two of them is two brass ingots, an electron tube, and two dried kelp. Uh, we'll craft four and then throw our extra into there. Now, that being said... Um, there's also another requirement over here. Now, right here you could see there's a lot of weird blocks that I've placed down with glass and wool, and you could see that I have a power source already going around. All this is, is from this water wheel coming over here that I've thrown up a bunch of, uh, ways to power a bunch of different belts that are going to be going around. Now, you can power these belts straight from the flywheel and the furnace engine. So if you want to, you don't have to build any of this. I'm building this just so the machine will start working right away as soon as I start placing things. Uh, but I will explain it at the very end on how you can kind of get away with all of these different pipes and stuff. But all this is is gearboxes and shafts. That's all it is. So let's start out by building and we're gonna build right off of where we ended in the tree video where there was these two chests that's being filled with sticks and apples and saplings and birch logs, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so we're going to start off by pulling all of those items out and separating them so we're only pulling the logs into our furnace generator uh, because that's what we're going to use as our power source. Now you can use sticks, uh, but I believe that we don't need to. We'll just use logs and turn it into charcoal. But our first thing is we're going to take a shaft and place it one block under a chest and place the second one. We'll take our mechanical belts and we're going to place two. So now we get our, our basically our way of pulling these items out of this chest. Now, we are going to place a brass funnel on that chest, but we're going to hold off. We don't have to do that at the moment. Uh, that being said, these brass funnels, you could get away with a couple of them being andesite funnels. I'm using brass funnels, so in the future, if you would like to add filters or anything like that, it's as simple as creating a filter and placing it on the brass funnel. But I'd recommend watching the video if you're trying to save some resources, and there'll be a couple different ones that you can get away with just regular andesite funnels. Uh, but our next step is we're going to take a shaft from here. And we're actually going to place him to about one, two, three blocks away. And then now we've done this, we're going to take our mechanical belt, place it like so. And we're going to take, uh, let's take one more shaft. We're going to place it one block in and two out. And we'll do it again, two out. And then let's take our mechanical belts and we're going to place three. So they're going three side by side. Now this you'll see will be our way of separating our items. But for now, we're going to get away without... Uh, without doing that essentially so let's take two more shafts we're going to place them out uh, basically diagonally up and then two more we're going to place basically like this then we'll climb back up if we can and we're going to take a mechanical belt place it like here place it like here and you're going to see these items are going to head down head up and they're going to be placed in a chest so we just got to take our chests and place two in a line like so we can actually take our brass funnels and place them on the outside so they'll actually get placed inside of the chest. And these aren't powered at the moment. That's okay because once we build this little section up here by placing a uh, shaft down there, placing a shaft diagonally up here, we could take our mechanical belts, oops, mechanical belts and place it. And now they're all powered. 
Now, the only other thing is this is going to end up separating our saplings, our apples, and our sticks, and then the wood is going to end up heading up in this direction. Now, the way that this is going to work is if we... Oops, getting stuck. If we take our brass tunnels and we place them side by side, just like so, then all we have to do is add a filter, and when these items go in, they'll come out of the brass funnel that we are allowing to come out. So the way this works is if we take our two filters, the first one we are going to grab a stick and an apple. We didn't need both of those. And we're going to throw our stick and our apple in. We can then place that on a funnel. And now this filter is assigned to sticks and apples, so only sticks and apples can go through here. Our next thing is going to be our saplings. So what you're going to want to do is grab all of your saplings that you are currently growing, just like so. Um, I believe I'm also growing a jungle sapling, so we'll grab that as well. Uh, and you're going to throw all of these guys into a filter. Now I'm just shift right clicking to do this. You can also just like click and place them in and so on. Then hit the check mark and we'll put our saplings right here. Now you don't need anything on the third one because the only other possibility to come out now is logs. Uh, but if you are only growing a single sapling, just put only one sapling in here. You don't have to grow multiple saplings for this farm. Uh, but I am showing... Um, basically what we're doing. Now, if you are using other mods and you are using different types of trees, make sure that you're counting for any type of item that can get pulled out of here and having them go into a chest. Uh, but there we go. So before we start pulling those items out, we have one other little section that we need to do. And we're going to take our shaft here, place one, place two. Uh, we're going to take our mechanical belt and place that. So these items are now going to go up, get transferred in this direction. And then we're going to take a chest and we're going to place two out just like this with a brass funnel, if I can place it correctly. A brass funnel to place them inside this chest. So now we'll place a brass funnel right here. And this will start pulling our items out. And we'll see if we've actually done this correctly. So you can see our logs are going placed on there. Our saplings are being placed on there. And our sticks um, and eventually our apples are going to end up going in that direction as well. Now if you do see anything get stuck here, this means that your filter isn't assigned to that type of item. Uh, so you can just right click on the belt, pick it up, assign it to the filter, and it'll start getting pulled in. But you can see saplings are being placed in there, sticks and eventually apples will be placed in there, and all of our logs are being placed into this chest. So there we go. Half of our machines are up and running. Now, again, if you haven't built these shafts and gearboxes yet, none of this is going to be up and running. That's totally fine. Um, you can wait until we get our flywheel up and running, and then you can build the power sources to power all of this. Uh, but our next step is going to be to take our, our furnace, and we're going to place it just one block in between, uh, basically right here. And then we could take a brass funnel, and we're going to place it on top, and this will start placing logs into our very top of our furnace. Uh, now we're going to actually need to take our furnace engine, if I can place this correctly. Place it on top of our furnace so that it gets placed out. Then one block away, we'll place our flywheel, just like so. And then we can go ahead and take um, our next step. So now this will end up generating power as this, uh, basically as this machine is running. Now our next step is to take our chests and we're going to place two here so one block in between the furnace and the chest take our hopper and we're going to place it so that it goes into the chest so what this does is once these items are smelted the energy is being pulled into the flywheel and the item that be or ends up being created so charcoal ends up being placed into this chest now in order to make this infinite we're now going to pull these items out of this chest run them around in a circle and place them back into the bottom of this furnace and this will allow it to continue to just create charcoal and use charcoal and become an infinite source uh, our next step is going to be to now do that that whole step of pulling all these items so we're going to go ahead and place whoops we're going to place our shaft Di or basically sideways uh, one block below this chest we're going to place another one a couple blocks away so two blocks away take our mechanical belt take another brass funnel if i can again place this correctly so it ends up getting pulled out of there and then we got to end up pulling this item if i can place it again correctly uh, we're going to end up pulling these items up a couple levels to then place them into the furnace so we'll place another shaft right here uh, we'll take our mechanical belts, we'll place it there. Uh, we'll end up placing another shaft and another shaft right here. And then we're going to do it again like so. 
And then we now have to just pull these items into our furnace. Now you are going to notice that these are, this is one block and it looks like it's going to place it in the hopper. Uh, that's because we have to be diagonally down one block for the, this brass funnel to activate into the furnace. So now we are basically done. Uh, we just have to get out of here. Um, we'll just jump like that. Uh, one thing that we're missing is we currently don't have any kind of, uh, any kind of way of pulling or starting this engine up. So what we're going to do is just a nice little uh, way to get around this. We just, we just need to interact with this thing, the furnace. Uh, and we're going to start this machine up because we need to start producing some charcoal so that it'll continue to fund itself. So an easy way to do that is just place some logs manually in here. Uh, and we'll let this thing start producing uh, some charcoal. And you can see that the charcoal is now being pulled out. We'll make sure that this is all working correctly as it goes around in a circle. And there we go. It's going to be, end up sitting right here. So what we'll do is we're going to have it produce a couple more pieces of charcoal. Um, and it's going to get stuck here. We'll get, we'll probably make it so it gets five of these guys really quick. Okay, so we end up getting five charcoals that are stuck on the belts. So we're going to now take our, whoops, we're going to take our oak logs out of here and it'll start placing our charcoal in here. And now the charcoal should be able to run uh, a majority of these logs. So as it uses a piece of charcoal, it will create a log uh, or turn a log into another piece of charcoal. And this will become an infinite power source now. Now, if you're wondering on how to pull the power out, depending on how you place your flywheel, this little end right here looks just like a gearbox. This is where you can connect shafts, gearboxes, and stuff like that in order to pull the power source out of here. Now, now that this machine is up and running and has turned into an infinite power source, I can take a shaft or a gearbox and run this to where my shafts are and run it to all of these belts to power all of these belts because this is producing about 30,000 stress units, which is an insane amount, way more than any other power source in the game. So this would easily be able to power all of these uh, belts as well as practically anything inside of your base. Uh, but this is this is essentially on how you create uh, how you create this unlimited power source. Now, I know this is probably pretty confusing, and I apologize for this, so I'm going to attach a schematic into uh, the description, so you can put it in a schematic cannon or go into create mode or creative mode and go ahead and right-click to place it down, uh, and then you can actually see how I've designed this entire machine. Uh, that being said, um, that's as much as I'm going to show for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Just definitely go ahead and drop a like. If you need any help, I recommend checking out my Discord. I'm always on there and same as a bunch of the other guys inside of the server and we will gladly help you we'll even join a voice chat and run you through it as well um, but anyways thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you guys all in the next one